Selecting the right boring tool is important because in the manufacturing process, the boring process is usually performed at the end of the part cycle. So a lot of time and money has been already invested in producing the features on that part. So to fail at the back end where the money has already been invested is very costly to customers. Results of selecting the wrong boring tools can lead to poor part quality, reduced tool life, uh, especially regarding cutting tool inserts. Most of the tools we're talking about use indexable inserts and improper selection usually results in premature failure of, of the indexable parts. And that's where most of the recurring costs are with these tools. Evaluating boring tools comes down to not only the specific application, but the overall life cycle of the borings processes in your facility. If it's a dedicated tool, you really want to focus on uh, a wide range of standard parts that can be used to configure the tool for specific applications. However, if you see a lot of diversity in the parts that you're doing where you'll need to reconfigure the boring tool, Having additional features such as multiple insert holder sizes for a specific boring head and a large number of modular components to reconfigure that tool as needed. Another thing to consider in the boring tool selection is not only the finished boring tool, but how that part is processed previously. Many times holes that are cast or forged are not necessarily to a, si to a size range that can be easily finished. So the pre-processing of that part is very critical. And many times rough boring is the best solution for that pre-finishing. This will ensure a hole that is perfectly round and on location, making it much easier for the finished tool to perform correctly. Workpiece material has a couple of influences on the boring tool assembly. Uh, first off, it determines what type of insert you're gonna be using on that cutting tool. Long, difficult to machine materials or long chipping materials require sharper cutting geometries, while those same materials may also require you to use a tool that has more clearance for chip evacuation because long chips can wrap around the tool and cause poor surface finishes or even tool collisions. Another thing to consider when evaluating a boring tool system is the stability and rigidity of the assembly. There are many modular components that are offered to build up tools in a modular system, but you really want to focus on reducing the length to diameter ratio of the assembly to ensure the maximum rigidity of the assembly, which will allow for higher cutting speeds and feeds, better surface finishes, and improved tool life. Application details such as tolerances and surface finish really determine what style of boring head is going to be used for an application. Uh, extremely tight tolerances require finer resolution in the boring heads that are being used. We have our EWE digital boring head, which has display resolution of 50 millionths on diameter. Boring depth and tool length can be the same information on certain applications, but in others, they mean totally different things. Gauge length or tool length is really the distance from the machine spindle to the part feature. Sometimes additional length is needed just to reach a part. For example, a part in the middle of a machine table, which requires extra reach on the tool just to start the bore. In other cases, the bore itself can be very deep requiring a longer tool assembly. There's multiple ways to stack components to put together boring tools suitable for the application, but some versions are better than others. We have several different products to uh, address these concerns. Our Smart Damper Boring Tool System is available for deep hole boring applications, whereas our modular components allow us to build up tool assemblies to maximize the rigidity at the back end of the tool and then reduce down for reach into the smaller bore to be finished.
The cost of a boring tool is really measured in not necessarily cost per tool, but cost per hole. Um, as the tool produces more and more um, holes, the tooling cost goes down. The only recurring cost would be the indexable inserts. So the more efficient that you can make the boring tool assembly, being able to produce parts faster and fa faster, reduces cycle time and lowers cost over the long run.